Yeah, and then if you think, again, you usually have something that has a larger move on the day if it's a gap. This just isn't an amazing gap. Let me just quick do some numbers here because this has to act like an angel today if it's going to work for me to even call it because it's not doesn't get the reading. So normally if you'd fill out a sheet, you'd be putting all these numbers in sheets because we're not trading this today. We're just going to watch it and we'll go call it for the room, but it only rates 18, so we're not going to do it. But if it was good enough, we'd write all the numbers on the sheet and we'd have it next to us and how much we would risk. Okay, can everybody hear me? Here's the um, resistance for TSN. TSN. But I do have GoPro up in the middle, but honestly, this nothing rates good today, people. Neither one of these. But there's a chance the market could fall today just on the weight of its own gap. I'm not saying for sure it's going to. I'm saying it might. Okay, one of the other things you have to put in the list then to ask him is how do you check on that platform because I'm, I'm not familiar with it, that you know if you have a short in the pre-market. Unless, did you write that down already? Yeah, the okay. yeah, top 20 list, how to set up. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you also have to write down, ask him how do we know if something's a short on TurboTech because I've never used TurboTech. Oh, how do you short? Or how, how, do no, you? how do you find if you have a short available? I know how to tell you to oh, short. Oh, oh, oh. And then also ask him if you press the cover button, what ECN is it using automatically? And if it's not set up using ARCA, you want to set it up with that. So anyways, just to review here, everybody, GoPro is in the middle here, rates 17, TSN is the main watch here, rates 18, PG is off completely because it looks different from an hour ago, market could fall today, we'll see what we get. ECN, it's the, it's a, we'll go over that when we're done. And ECN is what fills you. See these, here, hold on, we'll, when we're done, we'll go over it. Okay, so you see this up here? This is a spread. It's a difference between the bid and the ask. Okay. See this in here, 62 by 74, okay. 66 by 85. See how it's moving? Mm -hmm. Now see, this hasn't done anything right yet. It's not in it, this hasn't set up, there's nothing here. And I might flip to the GoPro. Oh, that is simple to put that in there like that. What? Instead of trying to put like. <laughs> link I, well, link I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Why that? They have to be linked. Okay. Uh, TSN isn't doing anything yet, people. And it's also very spready, so just wait. And GoPro isn't yet either. Here, let's look at the PG. PG, no, nothing here yet. Okay, GoPro's rallying. GoPro's rallying, not that there's anything wrong with that, and TSN is not doing anything either. So nothing's set up yet. I don't know if anything does t today, people. Nothing rated well, remember? So just relax. A GoPro is really rallying. Here's GoPro pushing back. There's TSN. There's the market. What did cost do? No, cost didn't drop yet. Wow, cost may not follow through. Very interesting. Okay, so this is a GoPro. I'm going to take this off for now. I'm making this back to the two minute, and we'll just watch the TSN here. I'm not saying this is off, this is only a 50 cent bar but no one wants to go into this quick anyways because of the spread. Let's look at this chart. Nope, this may not set up. Wow, let's see if it holds 62 people. It didn't rate well. It may not set up. This is kind of low volume. I mean, it's not low enough that you don't, well, you wouldn't take it, but this isn't like amazing. What was that, 19,000 or 20,000? Is that 
Well, that's that's in the pre-market. Oh, this is a live day here now. Mm. It is low volume. Pyro's even saying it. Let's just see what happens here with this, people. I think GoPro's too far gone to be right today now. TSN is still maybe okay. Here's an entry if you want it in this. I'm going to give it to you, even though it hasn't hit yet. 60, 62, I mean 69, 69 by 6210. No, nope, it may not set up. Nope, it's rallying again. 6169 by 6220. 50 cents now if you want it. Basically 70 by 20. 70 by 20 TSN short if you want it. And I don't even know if that hits people. I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna hit. Yeah, I'm just flipping here now. Cayman Dude is mentioning Tiva. Tiva is trying to go. It's really just a continuation gap. And I'm just looking to see if there's anything. Cost is off. There's nothing to do with that. Tiva's trying to go. Gropo is a mess. Don't do anything with that. And TSN, I think, is off. I don't think it's going to act right. No. All right, forget TSN, it's off. It never hit, and I'm not sure if that's right. And I, the problem is here, I don't think it's going to have any momentum in it. I don't. I think this could move very small in the day. If you shorted this came in, dude, I literally would scalp it. it I mean, it would have been so aggressive to do this with the volume, but if you shorted that, I would scalp it. I mean, I'll, I'll sit here and still keep watching this, but I think the only way I'd call it even now for anyone for the confirmation would be the five minute. So I still have TSN up, but it's not looking amazing, and I wouldn't aggressively do the one minute here. Let's see if the five minute sets up or the two minute. It looks like everything else is off. You could do 69 by 20, 70 by 20. The original entry I gave, you can do 50 cents. And I'd scalp it. I'm not sure if this goes anywhere. 79 by 20. TSN there. It just hit. It just hit. Did anyone do it? It just hit. It hit hard. So I said 70 by 20. That means you put the stop at 60, uh, 62, 20. It's up here. Okay. And you entered on this bar in here at 61.70. So, so it did hit. Did anyone do it? And you are scalping this because I'm not sure if this has any kind of big move today. Meaning that you get the break through the low and you just take it. Low in here was 61.41. So target's like 61 if it breaks the low. Did anyone do it? Pyro said no. Did anyone? Cayman dude did it. He's desperate to do something today. Yeah. So Tiva dropped, fell, too low volume to take it immediately, but if it backs up here, I can look at calling this, but I didn't rate this today. It's a continuation gap if you do it at all. TSN did hit, and it's working. You're up if you did this. Came and do did it. This is the only thing, and I wasn't even going to call it for a minute there, but then it finally halted. You're not through the low yet, 61.40. Shower Singer did it. Bob's in it. TSN is on when I called it, whatever that was, like a minute ago. Remember, though, nothing rates good today. If you're following the structure and the system, then you don't do anything. That's why Eric isn't doing anything. But if some of you want to do stuff, and that's fine, this was the only thing to do. If you didn't get a koala bear, you can still get it here. It's backing up to the entry price. It was 70 by 20. It's in, it's, it's, you can probably get filled in here around 60, mid 60s. It's backing up if you want to hit it. Put the stop at 62, 20. 
Let's look at the market quick. Galahad is watching his target. He's in this as an option. Did you do this or not? No. You, you've been doing the options. Yeah, which, which was it, TG? Target, yeah, TGT. Yeah, I didn't have, I, I, you didn't do I, it. I didn't did you? Did I you, had money, but no, yeah. I didn't do it. Did you bring your, did you actually, did you have that downloaded on here for us to look at that too, or you didn't? What, target? Downloaded? No, the, the options thing, your options side. Oh, oh, yeah, I have it. Okay. Um, from T, uh, Ameritrade. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go. Shoot. Look at this. Here. Galahad. What are you up in this? Write it in the room right now. Galahad took more contracts on this on Thursday and Friday. I will answer your question in a minute, Pyro. Galahad, write in the room the amount of money that you were up in this in dollars and cents. You're up over $1,000. What are you going to do? Chart looks great. You say that every time. What are you going to do? It's a thousand bucks on a crappy day and there's absolutely nothing. Mm. And it's 16 cents from the target, which is 56.50. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's, you're, you're, it's going down, 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 down. What are you going to do? Now you're up $1,230. What are you going to do? Get out. I, <laughs> just, like, I, you don't even need me. Eric just said, get out. He's whispering. <laughs> You don't have to whisper here, oh, by the way. In fact, you have to talk louder because the okay. construction people in the hallway. No. Here it is, right into the target. Did anyone else do this from the option letter? Galahad, I, I, I told him to take more, and he did. He did. It's 4,000 shares of this now. Eric would get out. He's up $1,500. Eric would definitely get out. Eric's like, this guy's crazy. All right, let's go back to, let's go back to TSN. All right, here we go. We got down to the low. We didn't break it. You could scalp out a half of this right now, people. The gap didn't rate good. It touched on 61.42, low of the day. It touched on it, and, and it actually was a move. It was 30 cents. Don't look for a million dollars in this today. You could get out a half of this right in here. I don't know what this does. Shower saying I got all of it all. That was a good, good, good decision. And if this bounces here, Galahad, you can take half out of the target and ride the rest down. We talked about this. Money management, what are you doing? If you don't know, you can't play it on the fly, and that's, that's the problem. Does it, does this expire? Does it no, expire? this is two weeks. It's till March 17th. Okay. Maybe that's okay. All right. Yeah. This is a nice call. And actually, we'll do a little lesson in this, too, because it will help you, because you're doing the options. Yeah. I know you didn't do this one. I wish that you yeah. had. Um, but, oh, you got out of it in full. See, all he needs no. is you to tell him what to do. Yes, he doesn't listen to me. It. And Eric can be your mentor from now on. <laughs> Even though no one will hear you say, take it, you're like, take it. <laughs> I, I mean, the film guy comes this week, I'm going to have to have, I'm going to have to have Eric mic'd. Or no one's going to hear him. It hit $1,700. Congratulations, Galahad. Beautiful. Great. Amazing. Okay, all right, let's go back and go over the one here that bounced, TSN. Okay, is anyone still in this? Shower Singer got all out of it. What did anybody else do? Now the number was hit. Did you see what he wrote? So he doesn't get out of anything unless it's $1 million. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, what was wrong with 1200 <laughs> oh, Bob's all out. If you're not all out of it here, I would put the stop over 61.62. It's trying to break the low, which is 41. I'd be tight, tight, tight with this. It didn't break great. Put the stop at 61.70. Here, it's going to try to break the low. If anybody's still in this, tighten it up. Koala Bear, are you still in it? Or did you take it or what? Cayman Dude is still in it? I'm still in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's so funny. <laughs> we will go over that target then. Yeah. After we're done going over this. All right, now Pyro asked a question. Well, while it's slow today, can you talk about what you're looking at in the level two? I don't, I don't, I'm not here. This is trying to break. But be careful if it doesn't, came and dude. Um, I'm just, I'm, what do you, I don't, I don't make trading decisions based on the level two, but I'm looking at the bid ask. So I'm looking at the candlesticks and I'm all, here, this is going to try to go. And I'm also looking at this and the price. I'm looking at this and this when I'm in a trade or calling it. Okay, so this here is the difference between the bid and the ask, and it's also the price that the stock is trading at. Here, there, you just got the push through. Here it goes. It's trying 61.25. 61.25, it should bounce. The spread is important, but also the price to make sure this matches up because because I want to make sure that everything's in conjunction. Here you go, 61.25. That's it. 
942, here it goes. See, this rated crappy, and I called yeah. it good. So this is, you know, we'll go over the entry in this here, but you still shouldn't do anything, I don't think, unless it rates well. But every once in a blue moon, I see an entry in it's something. so quick, too. But that's why you have to be yeah. on your ball here. This is why I didn't want you to do anything today, but you are going to do something tomorrow for something good, and yeah. you, you're going to have to get in quick, and you have to get out quick. And you got to put the stop in quick after you get in quick. And then you have to cancel the stop if you're going to get out. If you've got to do that in your platform, yeah, you've got yeah, to. Good. As soon as you start going into it, and I'm saying we're almost getting ready, or take it, take it, take it, you cancel it, dude, get out. Okay. Came and dude's out. The spread is important because you want to price this in the stop because if the stock is up here and the spread is 10 cents, if you put the stop at 62.10, even if it never touches 62.10, you may get taken out because it will in the difference between the That's spread. Good. Do you understand he, that? He he did that for me. Ten cents. We. Oh okay. Um, stop for ten cents. Okay. Um, well, that's the example we did. Okay. All right. So, anyways, you know, I don't really look at all the orders that are sitting out here for this kind of thing. I might look at this in the options chain, but not really for the day trading. Anyway, so for this here, I'm just looking at where the price is, is here, and then I'm looking at the difference between the bid and the ask, and I'm watching the charts at the same time for the setup for the trigger. So I didn't like this open, it was crappy, but the stock did rally up. What did I say for the resistance? I said 62.15, 62. 62. Yeah. Okay. So it touched on 62.09. Again, support and resistance are areas. Dropped, broke, I called a confirmed entry in this. So it was kind of late, it wasn't aggressive, but it worked. You could have pulled 30, 40 cents out of this, maybe 50 depending where you got filled. I think everyone should be out of this. Don't let it rally back at all. Don't let it go over 35. So in a day like, even a, even a day like this where it didn't rate good, this is all you're looking to do every day. You're just okay. looking to get this, boom. do mm, okay, you're just looking to get one move. Now I'm gonna quiz you again. If you went 70 by 20, if you wanted to risk 50 cents, and if you took 200 shares, how much would you be risking? If the $100. Yes. So if this would have stopped you out, if you had done it today, which it didn't stop out, mm -hmm. you would have lost 100 bucks. Okay. And if it would have went on to work, what would you have made? Which it did. If you shorted it at 61.70, and let's say you got out at 61.30, that's 40 Four cents. Points. How much would you make? Um, what did you say? 200? No, 40, um, 40 cents times... Uh, I said you had 200 shares. 200. 200 shares times oh, 40 600. cents. Um, no, you would have made eight. Eight, 80 bucks. You would have made $80. So this is okay. It's basically like one hour almost on a crappy day. Not much to do. Gap didn't rate good. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's why Shower Singer got out. Came and dude held it down a little bit. But there's nothing wrong actually with making one risk unit a day. If your risk unit gets to be 500 bucks, what's wrong with making 500 bucks? What's what did you say? That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's all I care about uh, in life. <laughs> um, okay, Koala Bear has a question here. Re res resistance evident at 61.25. This price kept dropping to and bouncing up from there. So are you saying you got out or are you saying you didn't get out? Or didn't you do it, Koala Bear? It did break 61.25 and it looks like it's on its way lower. Let's just say you were like, I love this thing. I'm in love with it and it rates good. You could put the, you could move the stop over and tighten it up over like the bar here. You could, okay. or you just get out where I screamed to get out. But actually, this is still going. Look, you could go to sixty-one. I think everybody's out. Is anyone still in it? Here, it's trying to get to sixty-one. It's at sixty-one sixteen. All right. So this, this was a nice call. It's good I rested good. this weekend. Yes. <laughs> <You said. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right. Good. Let's look at the market here. Yeah. Overall, the spy gap down and is trying to fall. Do I think it goes anywhere today? Again, it could pull into 129 in the queues, but I don't know for sure because here it is. It's 947, and we're only a baby red. We're not crazy red. Let's take a look at the rest of the other ones here. GoPro didn't do anything right. You see here how... It, it, you couldn't have made any money really doing anything with this. It's trying to go higher, but it's not really why. It did gap down. It rated okay, but it's you, you wouldn't buy this just because it didn't work as a short. What was the other one? PG? P P oh, yeah. Ooh, this completely flipped. 
and it never opened where I had originally rated it. It opened way up. We didn't rate this one because we were running out of time, but I did, and then the rating was way off. So hopefully nobody did anything with that. What did Big do? Nothing here. What did Kosh do? Oh, Kosh did fall here now. Look. Oh. So Kosh did end up falling. But it didn't look good when we looked at it first, I think. No, it know. didn't. It didn't look good to do as a day trade. It didn't look good to do as an option either, but it may be, maybe, you know, I could, you could catch him, try to catch a move in here if you want down to 168, but I don't, I don't think this looks as weak as as the potential existed on Friday, but it couldn't, it couldn't follow through enough on far Friday. It gapped down a little bit today, but it really doesn't look like it's going much of anywhere. Teva still going? So Teva wow. fell. So this fell in here at 40 cents, and then this fell again in here. Well, it fell a total of like 50 cents, so that was a good move. But I'm not sure if this had the volume in here to take it. But it does now. Look. All right, let's go over. Let's go over Target, and this will be helpful for you. All right. First of all, does anyone have any questions or anything else you want me to look at? I called a great trade, even though I told Eric not to do it on TSN, and and it worked. People made money, and it went farther than I thought. So, and if you did the Target option, you're up. That was the first exit, really. Either you get out of half, or you get out of the whole thing. Did, does anyone want to discuss anything before we go over the target? That's okay. And don't worry about it. All right. Have you been doing everyone or not? No, or you've been like, I, it's a crap shoot. Whenever yeah, you I like got nervous. Doing? If I get nervous, I, I, I was like... Uh, well, do you look at the ch charts or not? Yeah. I looked at it. It went, it, 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 um, it went against... It went up a little bit, and I and then you got scared. I was late anyway, so it went yeah, it went up, and then I was when it, it went up to fifty eight something, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait. Okay, and then I just totally was like, yeah. We're gonna. Does anyone want to go over anything else before we go over Target? Because Eric's on the, doing the option letter too, and and we're gonna go over that this week while he's here. But we may as well go over this today because he didn't do this, and Galley had just made seventeen hundred dollars. <laughs> Although he probably wouldn't have got out if I wouldn't have. Yeah. said what are you doing and if Eric wouldn't have said holy crap get out because you know you did have a good amount of shares and if this would have gone to 56 you would have made four grand and it looks like it's heading there and you got two weeks left but when you're up 50% of your money you know 100% of your money yeah. whatever you got to get out should be an alarm that goes off <laughs> <laughs> Eric said there should be alarm can you can everybody hear what he's saying that was funny there should be alarm there should have a sock swish alarm <laughs> It would be very loud. <laughs> My voice is the alarm. What do you mean? Get out! Um, you would only be watching it today. You wouldn't have gotten out. For real. Seriously. Like, for seriously, seriously, seriously. You really would have only watched it today, Galahad, and not gotten out. After spending a month with me, you really, I, I had, I've had, I mean, you really, if I wouldn't have said get out today, you, you still really wouldn't have gotten out with this. You're going to have to come back and spend a month with Eric. <laughs> you can teach Eric money management. And, and then, you know, you're going to teach Eric how to use a platform. And then Eric's going to teach you about money management. <laughs> you can swap. It's a swap. It's a stock swap. Oh, my Lanta. All right. Does anyone have any other questions? If not, I'm going to go over the.